Hi, good evening. My name is Christopher Ragsdale, and tonight I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Uh, one, I want to share a little bit about my background, where I came from, and also I want to talk about a program that I've invested my time in, and hopefully you all would see fit to invest in in the form of a grant, and that program is called Compound University. Growing up, I um, came from suburban Baltimore. I grew up in Baltimore County in a town called Reister's Town. Um, I, I didn't know my father growing up. I didn't meet him until I was nine. And um, also, when I was five, um, my mother unfortunately lost her job. Uh, so what that started was a cycle of poverty um, in our household. Uh, money was tight. We were on welfare. Uh, we were on food stamps. Uh, the same, you know, people live from paycheck to paycheck. Well, we live from first of the month to first of the month. Uh, so that cycle of poverty continued for about 10 years. Um, in that process, unfortunately, we were evicted from our house. We didn't have a car. Uh, as I said, we were on, on public assistance. Uh, so it was really bad. Um, because the money was tight, uh, we didn't have things such as a bank account or savings. Um, so we, we really started some bad financial habits. And uh, unfortunately, those financial habits followed me into adulthood. So I found myself repeating some of the same, you know, bad habits that my mother had. I, I, I made some of the same mistakes. Uh, myself, <laughs> I got evicted from an apartment. Uh, you know, I served in the Marine Corps for five years. Uh, but even with that, I found myself um, doing, doing silly stuff, like going out and getting payday loans to the point of where my whole paycheck was going to the payday loan, and I'd have to take out another payday loan to tie me over to the next paycheck. Um, so that, that was something, again, that um, impacted even, even my young adult years. Um, thankfully, the, things started to turn around. Um, I met the woman who is now my wife. I'm happily married. I've uh, been married for going on, going on seven years now. We have a, a beautiful daughter as well. Um, so the, like I said, it, it turned around there and I was I started to become more financially responsible. Um, I actually took a took an interest in finance from a job that I had at a bank. Um, they gave opportunities to volunteer and uh, go out and teach teach um, teenagers and even some adults about saving. Um, so that start, that sparked a passion in me. Um, since since working at the bank, I volunteered with other not for profit organizations. I've actually had a mentoring job where I go out and, and just, in, in my mentoring and in my spare time, go out and teach youth about saving and about finances and about investing as well. Um, so that, so that, that's my part in Compound University. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, Compound University is something that's near and dear to my heart and I've invested my time in it. Um, what we do is we seek to have, seek for it to be a one-stop shop. Uh, we seek to cover the areas of technology, arts, uh, science, sports, nutrition, and uh, carpentry, as well as finance. Uh, and the finance piece ties in with the rest of it because if you've gotten all these skills to, to, improve, to improve upon your career efforts or, or your career endeavors, it makes sense to have that financial literacy. Uh, what I found in my travels, again, in my volunteer time, is that so many people don't understand. They don't get it when it comes to finance. And that's the biggest thing that cripples them. Uh, we, are, we see a lot of times, we see athletes go broke. I mean, they, they have millions of dollars because they, want, they weren't taught that financial piece at an early age. So, as, so again, in Compound University, in, in the financial aspect of it, or the financial piece, um, we, we, seek to, we seek to teach financial literacy and empowerment. Um, again, hopefully you would uh, see this and, and you will see fit to invest in Compound University. Thank you for your time.